Morning guys. Welcome back to the homestead. Chickens and ducks and stuff over there in the background. <laughs> hey guys, I want to uh, just kind of chat this morning. I got a couple little chores I'm going to do. I'm going to set you guys down over there. I went and bought some a uh, few bags of feed and stuff this morning. Going to fill up our feed bins and stuff like that. Uh, but um, I want to talk to you guys about this shirt that I always wear. I always wear this colored shirt this almost this not the same shirt i got some that's got the white um stitching i forget what it's called in embroider embroider work and, and whatever anyway um i've got these and i've got the other that's kind of like a subdued it's the same color as as the t-shirt it's or the shirt itself but um <clears throat> these are my work shirts i wear these shirts to to work and i have uh, like probably 15 maybe maybe more than that I think I'm allowed four four shirts or four or five of these shirts a year and I've been I've been at the hospital now for um, probably four and a half years or so oh shucks <laughs> I forgot some food in the truck um anyway uh I've been there for four and a half years. I've been there for seven years, going on eight years total. I worked there before I joined the service in 2007. Excuse me. Yeah, 2007. And um, actually, I work in the same office that I worked in uh, before I joined the service. And I work in... Uh, the same office now anyway this is a great seal of the Choctaw Nation um, I am a tribal member of the Choctaw Nation I'm gonna set you guys down up here and chat as I uh, adjust this this is that over there um, uh, right here is is the feed bin that I was talking about I'm gonna fill it up it's dog food and, and I got another one just right here uh, it's got chicken food in it uh, or chicken scratch I bought some chicken scratch and lamb pelts. Anyways, I'm I'm a I'm a uh, member of the tribe. Um, I have a little membership card and everything, uh, all that cool stuff. <laughs> uh, certif certificate of degree of Indian blood, um, CDIB. Anyway, uh, I am Choctaw. I'm no other tribe that I'm aware of. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's these shirts. I always wear these shirts. I wear them. They're long sleeve. Uh, no particular reason why I wear a long sleeve. I, I I do have some tattoos, but I don't have. I don't reckon I have to cover them up. They're not vulgar. They don't display anything uh, too tacky. Um, I have my grandfather's initials right here in the crease of my arm, and and uh, I have some uh, tribal up here on my left arm. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't necessarily have to wear a long sleeve. I just do. It's what's comfortable for me. I work nights. Plus, I work in a, a environment dealing with motors and stuff like that. And I just I feel that I should wear a long sleeve. Um, even in the summertime, maybe back in the summer, you guys noticed that I always wore a long sleeve. I pretty much always wear a long sleeve. Um, now, if me and the family is going out or something like that, or even to church or something like that, um, I wear short, short sleeve shirts. That sun is really bright, and the camper on my truck is white and it's blinding me. Anyway, um, yeah, so I always wear the, the long sleeve shirt. Anyway, um, yeah, a lot of old timers do too. Uh, maybe some of you guys still wear the long sleeve shirts as well. Maybe some of your parents have wore the long sleeve shirts, but that's just me. I always wear. I, I'll pretty much always wear a long sleeve shirt. Um, especially if I'm not doing something. I'm going to grab these feed sacks that are right here in the back of the truck. This is the chicken scratch. Scratch thing. It has corn, chopped corn, milo, seed. Um, Some of the last stuff that I bought 
even had sunflower, some sunflower in it. <clears throat> I got some laying pellets. I have a feed, uh, a five gallon feed bucket inside the coop where I feed the land pellets. And I typically just throw the scratch out here on the ground. That's dog food. Guys, this is a 21% protein, Ben's best dog food. Put what I don't use back in the back of the truck. Hit, hit. All the animals have already been fed this morning. And, uh, does anybody else's animals act like that? They act like they're starving. Here, the cows back there, I haven't fed the cows yet, so they probably are a little hungry. They do have hay and stuff out though. Anyway, all the animals, boy, they just act like they're all starving and stuff, that, and they just got fed. Here comes all the goats down there. You'll see them coming through the little corner right here. Anyway, uh, every animal on the farm just acts like they're starving after, right, even after they've been fed. Silly things. One thing that I really just don't like, some, I just, I can't stand a begging animal. It just, I just don't like it. I don't know why. Just something about a begging animal. See how I run that cat off the top of that dog back. I run that dog over the cat off the top of that dog bowl. Where's the dog bin? The food dog food bin. I just can't stand a, a begging animal. And those goats, man, you talk about beggars. Be goats will beg. Man. I just, they really get on my nerve. Anyway. That's for Aunt Shelby. Look at them little ducks over there. Aunt, Aunt Shelby said she wished she'd seen a little bit more of the ducks. Or I should do a video on the ducks. My little black one there, that she's a little hen and the other two are, are drakes or male ducks. But the other day the little black duck, the little hen there, she got tangled up with that rooster right there. And that rooster's got like two inch spurs. I don't know if you can see. Maybe we can get close enough. 
That dude's got some spurs on him. See him? That dude's got some spurs. And she tagged him right behind the eye the other day and she was just pouring out blood. I knew it would stop. So I really didn't, wasn't worried about her. She'd been all, she was gonna be all right. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, well, she's fine. You've seen her just now. Anyway, yeah, so that's our ducks, Aunt Shelby. <laughs> we got two drakes and a, and a hen. And uh, I'm gonna go feed the cows real quick. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll be all right. Guys, before the video runs out, I'm at 10 and almost 11 minutes. Let's walk back and check out the, check out the orchard real quick. <clears throat> anyway, guys, on your way out, subscribe, like, share, do all that cool little computer whiz stuff. And, uh, yeah. Just do that cool with computer with stuff. Anyway, so the apples have just about had all that they could take of that cold weather. They're just about brown. They're browned up and had just about all they can take. This apple over here, this is the yellow delicious. Can't really tell. Uh, he's just about had all it could take too. A few greens up there at the top, and then this one here, guys. This is the little Fuji apple here that we planted on Arbor Day. My cherry tree, guys, we had some we had some goats get out. I don't remember if I talked about it or not, but I left the gate when I was putting in the cattle guard right here at the top of the hill open overnight, and the next morning they got out, and they come and pushed my cherry tree over and busted my cherry tree up right there. However, I did see just the other day we got some green right up here on the top. So I'm just going to leave it in the ground. And see what happens guys my plums they're all they're doing good all the trees are doing well um, I got uh, part of my raised beds cleaned up back here got the tomatoes pulled out and stuff like that a neighbor friend of mine said that the old timers his parents used to tell him if you don't pull your tomatoes up they'll get mold and then you'll have problems with uh, the, with rot and stuff the following year um, your tomatoes won't make that well so I pulled my tomato stalks up. Normally I just leave them in the ground, but I've been having issues with my tomatoes for the last several years, and I think it may be because I leave my tomato stalks in the ground. Anyways, guys, we're going on 13 minutes. I'm going to leave you with the two drakes and the hen there. Guys, like I said on the way out, like, subscribe, share, do all the fancy, cool little stuff. And guys, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.